stars. Shia LaBeouf, Lucas Hedges, and Noah Jupe, if I'm saying his last name correctly, and what it's about. You could call this Shia LaBeouf's therapy movie. This is when I think when he was filming Peanut Butter Falcon, he had another drunken rant, and he had to go to therapy. And then it was like if he had one more strike, he actually had to go to jail. So this is basically him writing a movie while in therapy after the, the cop arrests him. Because I know he had the Transformers 2 incident, and they actually have that in the movie. And they go into a little, that's how they open the movie about his, like, mishaps of what he's done in life with alcohol, et cetera, et cetera. But this is a movie about him kind of as a child actor or Otis as a child actor and the child buff playing his father of what child buff went through. So what I like about this movie, it's well acted. Child buff does a fantastic job. There are some well disturbing, interesting scenes in this movie that it grips you and you're like, okay, that's... That's some hard stuff to watch. Uh, yeah, I still don't know about this movie. I watched it more than 12 hours ago. No, it would be less than 20 hours ago. I, it's, I'm still struggling to figure out if I like this movie or not. Uh, like I said, it's well-directed. It's well-written. I mean, Shia LaBeouf's story, uh, people call it a vanity product. I guess see that. There are some scenes where it just... I mean... Like, when he's in therapy and everything, and he says he has PTSD, or the therapist does, and... You're supposed to feel sorry, but I'm at one of those I'm at one of those losses where I hope everything that he went through that is shown on the screen he actually went through, so it kind of justifies the therapy uh, scenes at the end with Lucas Hedges. I just hope that nothing was falsified slash dramatized slash pushed to a limit that it happened a little bit, but we're gonna add this extra Hollywood flair to make it more dynamic. I just hope none of that actually happened during the childhood scenes. Because during the childhood scenes with Shia Buff and Noah uh, Loop, it was fantastic. It was believable and everything like that. And there's this character called Tom with Cliff Collins Jr., which they're both a man down together, so I wonder if there's a connection there. But then there's a shy girl scene with him and Shia Buff doing some stuff. It, like It almost got like too sexual and too weird for me. Like, I was like, okay, this is getting kind of uncomfortable. Uncomfortable dialogue. And there's supposed to be uncomfortable dialogue in this situation. So I don't know if this movie is supposed to make you think. This does make you think. Because the reason I say that, because when it goes to this therapy scenes and everything, it's hard. I don't know if I can feel sorry because... Jump cut. So I think I was talking about therapy. So let's talk this therapy scenes. It's hard for me to feel sorry for... Because you're an actor. You play fake. You have a good life. I know the paparazzi's on you, and if you did have a childhood like that, I can understand why. But, I don't know, I just see other people with other problems in the world and how they deal with it, and this is like an actor dealing with it, which is fine. Because they also do Child Bus Father, which I wish they kind of went more in depth with him. Yeah, they had him being a clown, clown and everything, but I don't know, was he actually an army vet? Because even Lucas Head slash Child Buff said he stole stuff from other AA meetings, so... Was Shia LaBeouf's dad actually in the army? I don't know. I don't know. And then when you have like him being a combat vet, having a POW, and he does stuff with his son, it gives a bad image. And I don't know. It, it was a hard movie to watch. And like I said, in the thing, they had a Martin Starr character. He was in it for maybe three, four minutes. And there's this one scene where Martin Starr's like, tells him, how do you close the door? And it just stops. And you're like, is there something more with that character? I wish there was something more with that character of like what is happening in their dynamic, but it really doesn't go that far. But other than that, Honey Boy is an interesting movie. It's hard for me to give a rating right now. But if I had to right now, Honey Boy would receive a 3.5 out of 5 with Futons because that's 70%. How was going in there? Because I'm a huge Shia Buff fan. Like Peanut Butter Falcon, one of my top 10 movies. This one I left feeling weird. Really weird, and if it was supposed to do that, thumbs up. Because, like, I do not like how, if this is true, that Shia LaBeouf's dad in real life had him smoke weed and marijuana at the age of 12 uh, and cigarettes. <sighs> but let's see what the Critics' New Scores to gave this film. So you do have the Critics at 94% with 156, and the Audience score is 92 with 256. Probably the exact same as Dark Water. That's really weird. And here's quick consensus. Honey Boy serves as an act of cinematic therapy for its screenwriter and subject. One whose unique perspective should strike a chord in audience from all backgrounds.
It did strike a chord, and that's why it's... <sighs> it's one of the movies where I think I do have to watch again and see the second time I get it. Because, also I understand in the very beginning, I'm a huge Transformers fan, and it kind of gave a bad image of Transformers, but it said 2005, so he must have been filming the first Transformers movie, because this first Transformers movie came out in 2007. So I don't think he was that angry when he was filming the first Transformers movies, or was he? I thought he was starting getting more angry at the 2 and 3 mark. I could be wrong, but do you agree with the 70, the 94, the 92, Chase Duck, the Boof Futon? Like, comment, subscribe. One other thing is Boof Tony, Topia, you Boof Tonians. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I mean, I understand the Honey Boy, it's having the chicken and the O is kind of like, oh, that's unique. But I guess the chicken is that big part of the movie, which it kind of is. But hey. It's an interesting movie, guys. Go in with an open mind, knowing that you could come out different.